Learners do not always learn what we teach. That is why the most important assessment does not happen at the end of learning, it happens during the learning, when there is still time to do something with the information. From the thousands of teachers we've worked with, we know that formative assessment is an aspect of teaching underpinned by some basic principles. So whether you work in early years, primary, secondary or further education, and whether you're newly qualified or experienced, doing this course will help you strengthen your own practice. From the teacher's perspective, it gives them an idea about what the students have learnt, what they've understood, as well as what they haven't understood and what they haven't learned. For me, assessment for learning is about creating a culture in my classroom where the children are active in their own learning. It's a tool for making sure that the children really want to move forward and have the ability to do that. It tells us what they already know and whether they're learning what we're teaching them at any given time. It's in the moment, so you're not kind of doing all your assessments right at the end of a unit or even at the end of a class. You're actually interested in what's going on in the moment in the classroom. Rather than to provide you with additional tools, the point of the course is to help you reflect on how you teach and make changes that help you be more effective. Join us and we will help you develop your own understanding of how to make assessment for learning work in your classroom and laboratory by tapping into your students' thinking through the use of challenging hinge point questions and by getting the evidence you need to help learners take the right next steps. Throughout the course, you'll discover and develop approaches to teaching that will help your own learners think, discuss and learn. To increase your own expertise as a teacher, strengthening and changing your own classroom and laboratory practices and encouraging the active involvement of students in their own learning. An online course is accessible at any time of the day and teachers are very, very busy people so being able to take that course and get onto it in the evening after school time is over will be, I think, a great um, facilitator for lots of teachers and the fact that it's free obviously makes it much more readily available to all groups of people. It gives the opportunity for teachers to discuss ideas and thoughts about the course with other teachers around the country. When Chris and Dylan have been uh, working in this area for many years. I really respect the work that they've done because it's both research informed but it's also you know, critically about what happens in practice. Chris and I have worked together a lot over the years developing the ideas at the heart of assessment for learning and with the support of the National Science Learning Network in York we've developed this free six-week course to give you the tools you need transforming the way that you teach and the way your students learn.